Number one, isopods. Isopods are tiny insect-like creatures that can be found on rockwork, glass walls, and algae. This animal is beneficial as they are a food source for many species of fish and are interesting to observe. Number two, Dorvilla day worm. Related to bristle worms, these worms can be found on rockwork and glass walls of the aquarium. Most found in aquariums tend to be small, but some have shown to reach up to three inches. They consume primarily algae and are reef safe. Number three, Cypuncula worms. Also known as peanut worms, there are way too many species of these guys to correctly identify which are in your aquarium. However, those in the aquarium tend to stay very small and hide in rockwork to most likely consume detritus buildup. Number 4. Spaghetti Worms Spaghetti worms spend their time with their segmented bodies buried in sand or rock crevices with their tentacles stretching out. These tentacles are used to grab and catch leftover foods, detritus, and other decomposing organics. Number 5. Asterina starfish. Depending on species, many would call these echinoderms pests as they have been known to eat some coral polyps and desirable coralline algae. They typically enter through live rock and are difficult to determine whether they will be beneficial or harmful to your tank until you add them. Number 6. Barnacles. Barnacles are crustaceans with a shell like covering that live attached to surfaces, typically rock but also on some stony corals such as porites. They feed on plankton with feather-like tentacles known as cirrus. Unfortunately, they often don't live long in aquariums as most are kept with pristine water quality and lack of particulate food. Number 7. Pineapple Sponge Also sometimes called Cycon sponges, these critters will hitchhike attached to rocks or coral frags. They are filter feeders consuming primarily bacterial plankton and phytoplankton. Although they are mostly harmless, if their numbers begin to reach too high, they might start agitating nearby coral. Number 8. Red Boring Sponge Boring sponges range in color from orange to reddish brown to bright red. They usually hitchhike encrusted into rockwork and coral. They are filter feeders consuming suspended detritus and plankton. They tend to survive better in nutrient-rich systems with excellent water movement. Number 9. Red Bubble Algae Red bubble algae gets its name by resembling a bunch of small red bubbles. They tend to grow better in high nitrate and phosphate tanks. If popped, it will release spores which will allow it to either multiply or pollute your tank. Some aquarists may not like it, however I find that it adds biodiversity to the tank and its spores feed the nearby filter feeders. Number 10. Colorpa verticillata Also known as fuzzy colorpa, this is a very small species of algae. Just like other algae, it thrives in nutrient-rich water, which may be beneficial in removing nitrates and phosphates. However, if it grows too much, it may begin to agitate nearby corals. Number 11. Coralline Algae Coralline algae is a desirable algae ranging in colors from pink, red, purple, and sometimes even yellow and green. It hitchhikes into the tank through live rock, frags, and even snail shells. The reason it is beneficial is because of its calcareous structure which helps adhese live rock and coral frags together and prevent them from falling apart due to water movement. It also helps outcompete other nuisance algaes and is an indication that your tank has properly matured. Number 12. Blue Clove Polyps Blue clove polyps can enter your tank through live rock or coral frags. Although they may look stunning to look at, they can be very invasive, competing other corals for space and agitating them. So far, there really is not much you can do to get rid of them besides manually removing them.